welcome to my 2022 reading journal flip through. Now this is an Archer and Olive journal. Now this was gifted to me by my friend Lexi. And yeah, this is my first time ever doing a reading journal. So I just wanted to actually show off what the completed reading journal looks like. Minus December though, because obviously I'm filming this before December is over. So I don't have anything in my December theme kind of filled out, but obviously all the rest is. So starting with my cover page, these are medieval weapon stickers from Oakleaf Arrow Studios, which is my shop. Um, and then just some fun washi tape that I got from Michaels. Nothing too, too fancy. I wanted to go a little bit more like minimalistic and include a lot more of just stickers. And here are my 85 books. I accidentally made 92 squares, but it's okay because I've read over 120 books this year, which is insane because my goal was 85 and I wasn't even sure I would be able to reach that. And I did, which is very, very exciting. Next, I have books to read in 2022. This was supposed to be a page where I wrote down recommendations from people and books that I really wanted to get to. And it just didn't really happen for most of these. Uh, in fact, the overwhelming majority I did not get to. So this is not a page that I transferred into my 2023 journal, but that's the joy of bullet journaling is you figure out what pages work and what pages don't work. And then you keep the ones that work and get rid of the ones that don't. And then I have books bought. This is one that I really enjoyed looking at. And it was just cool to see how many books that I actually bought and read versus how many books I bought and did not read. And I'm pretty sure the overwhelming majority is unfortunately books that I bought but have not read yet. But it's also fun to see when I bought certain books. And I really enjoyed this page and this is one that I transferred into my 2023 journal. However, I just did one page and split it in half to fill up two columns instead of three whole pages. I also have to point out real quick that look, I did a book buying ban in July successfully. Woo! Also, I'm just now re realizing that I did not color the dates in, so I need to do that. I also really hate how my handwriting looks on these pages. I think it's too messy. So when I fill out next year's journal, I will be writing in all caps because I think my handwriting looks a little bit cleaner that way. And I also think it'd be cool to number instead of just doing bullet points because then I can figure out how many books exactly that I did buy. So just things you figure out as you go. Uh, I have a quote page here because I had an empty page here that I didn't know what to do with it. And it reads, there's no such thing as too many books. I just don't have enough shelf space. But I did solve this problem by buying another shelf. So where it all worked out. Then I have one of my favorite spreads of my beginning pages and that's my reading tracker. So essentially, I just color in the days that I read and I will discuss how I keep up with this in a more simple way rather than trying to journal every day a little bit later on when I get to my actual like January spread, but it is really self-explanatory, essentially just a big column and rows split up um, by month and by date and you just color in the days that you read. And I just, this is one of my favorite stickers on the medieval weapon sheet, the mason chain. I just think it looks so good. And yeah, I can't wait to have it completely filled out. Also, it's very interesting. I wanted to see if there's any day of the month that I read every single month. And I think the closest one was the 28th. I had read every single 28th except for May. So just fun patterns to look out for. Uh, months that I read a lot, uh, months that I didn't really read a lot. Just a fun overview. So I really enjoy these overview pages because the monthly pages are really nice, but to get just one glance and you can see everything laid out. It's very satisfying to see slowly and slowly build in throughout the year. Next, I have books read in 2022, but the actual cover and then star rating of each. Now, I only set up four pages because I didn't think I would read 120 books. So unfortunately, I was not able to fit every single book into this spread, but that's all right. I have the majority and I have learned from my mistakes. So next year I have even more space. I do really love how these look and then fun star ratings you can see on each of these. And yeah, I just, it's so pretty with the book covers. So these are probably one of my favorite spreads that I will obviously be transferring into my new journal. Originally, I just cut these out and I glued them in. However, I have sticker paper, so now I just print them on sticker paper. And the colors are actually much more vibrant than the 
titles printed on the regular paper. So yeah, I love how that looks. And now we get into the monthly spreads. Um, all of them have different themes. And yeah, let's just talk about this real quick. Uh, January, I just used these pretty Julianne Doodle stickers. And then this, this is the star of the show. This is how I tracked my reading for the days I read and the pages I read and which books I've read it is right here. These are just bookmarks um, that I designed and then I have the dates on the back. So essentially I just write the number of pages and then which book I read on which day. And then I can fill out so many trackers with just this and it eliminates the need to open my journal and journal every day because we are only human and I can't journal every day. Even in my regular bullet journal, I don't journal every day. So keeping up with two journals is just not gonna happen. So it's much easier to keep up with a bookmark versus trying to open my journal every day. Um, underneath the title, I have all the books that I read in January and each of these themes have the same layout. I didn't really mix up that much. Um, there's some variation, but for the most part, every single one looks pretty similar in which I have my books read here and they are all color coded to then fill out the bar graph. And to fill out the bar graph, I use my handy dandy bookmark like I mentioned earlier. And then I have my stats, which is my favorite. Uh, I have the total books I read, the total number of pages I read, my average star rating for the month, the number of books that I bought, and the total days I read that month. And yeah, it's just fun to kind of compare each month, see which month had the best readings, see which months had the worst reading. Um, I might have read very few books and had a high star rating, or in this case, quite a few books and a low star rating. Uh, some quotes that I have, House in the Trillian Sea, Ugly Love. I always forget to fill out this quotes page, so you'll see quite a few that are fairly blank. And then I just had a random quote because I wasn't sure at the time what to do with this page. Then I had a blank page because I planned on doing a spread for my favorite book that did not happen so I just have a blank page but it's a realistic look at my journal and how I didn't keep up with everything. February I only read four books but all of them were like over 600 pages. Whoops. Yeah that's not the direction the bookmark is supposed to pull out of. Um, February I have my bookmark here. Also, all these bookmarks are themed around Jujutsu Kaisen because they were originally a gift for my sister who really loves Jujutsu Kaisen and we watched it together. So they were gifts and I just printed a copy for myself to use for I didn't have to redesign for my own. Uh, this theme is also Jujutsu Kaisen themed. Um, I really love how this theme looks. Uh, it's so cute with little stickers. I just got these off Etsy. A lot of the stickers, if not all the stickers I got off Etsy. And if you're curious on where I got the stickers from, you can go to that specific plan with me video. And I have everything linked in the descriptions of each corresponding video. Here's my February tracker and then color coded um, proof that I started the Wiseman Fear. I've started it in February. <gasps> I thought I started it in March. That book took me 10 months to finish. That is so funny. Um, I read 3,351 pages, even though I only read four books. Uh, I bought 12, read 18 days, and had an average star rating of 4.75. Some favorite quotes. I had quite a few because I was reading Crescent City, House of Sky and Breath, uh, and The Name of the Wind, and The Wise One's Fear, and those just have some really good quotes. Also, careful spoilers. Uh, in case you haven't read those, so don't peer too closely at those. Uh, and then just another random quote page because I didn't know what to do. Uh, and then I have The Name of the Wind. This is the first and only kind of review of a book. I really like the style of kind of doing this review with the text in the middle and the words all around, but I didn't really keep up with it. I really need to reread my summary of this because I just, I love The Name of the Wind. It's actually going to be the Wyverns and Words book club book choice for January, which I am so, so excited about. So yeah, you get to hear me ramble about The Name of the Wind in the future, which is exciting. March was themed around Bridgerton. I read 12 books. Here's a little peek at my bookmark just because. Also, these are just like uh, pockets to keep my bookmarks in. Um, I just designed one on every single month for I could keep the corresponding one in. Um, I might in my new journal just have one pocket to put all the bookmarks in versus like every single month. I, I don't know. I like how it looks. It's super simple. You just put washi tape or tape the bottom and don't tape the top for it. It creates a little pocket. Super simple. Yep. Bridgerton themed. Stickers from Etsy once again. Color coded. 
filled in my stats. I read 12 books. I read 4,825 pages. My average star rating was 3.5. Total books I bought was 6. And the total read days I read was 23. It's always interesting that the more books I read, the lower the average star rating is, at least in the beginning. However, I was really reading more new books. Typically, I would reread books or read really popular books, but I was kind of just picking up things my friends bought me, things my friends recommended me things I just randomly saw in the library. So I was really diversifying my reading, which you can tell from the low star ratings, uh, until I kind of found what really clicked and what I really enjoy. Um, favorite quotes, once again, kind of empty because I forget to fill it out. And then this page, I do really like how it looks. And then another blank page, because that's kind of how journaling goes for me. April was one of my favorites because I really loved all the stickers I got from many different Etsy shops. I have my bookmark here, which actually just so happened to match. A few months ended up like that, where the bookmarks just accidentally matched. Here's how it looks. I really love this Evie in the Ramoon bottle. It is so cute. I kind of want to buy another one to put on my actual water bottle because it is just so cute. This font I just designed myself to use for I didn't have to draw out the lettering. Also, this combo of washi tape is one of my favorite. And if you're looking for some really high quality and cute washi tape, the washi tape shop is a great place to find some really high quality washi tape. And you can use my code Cassandra10 for 10% off. Uh, I am an affiliate. Um, yeah, I have it linked below just in case you want some washi tape if you're starting a reading journal for yourself. Just trying to save you some money. Um, look at just that's so cute. I love the Pokemon mixed with food. Um, all the books I've read, which is 12, and then color-coded again. I read 4,871 pages. I had an average star rating of 4.9. I bought 16 books, and I read 19 days. So, not too bad within the ratio of books read versus books bought. It could have been worse. And then favorite quotes that are actually filled in. This is all from The Wiseman's Fear. I'm not surprised. Um, quote page, super simple. Empty page, because get used to it. <laughs> I keep planning for things and not doing them. Next we have May, which was themed around One Us, which is a K-pop group. It was themed around all their different logos and their newest logo, Trickster. This is my May bookmark, kind of what it looks like. A little bit more empty than my other ones, but that is, that is okay. Just the reality of how things go. I also used kind of their font when I was writing this out. Some letters were backwards. It was every other letter was backwards. So I did that to fill it out, just to add that cool effect, I suppose. Books read. I really love this symbol here. It, it just looks so cool. And I love when I fill it out in just grays because I feel like it's really hard to go wrong with shades of gray. I read nine books. I read 3,127 pages. Had an average star rating of 4.4, .4, which I think is pretty high for reading nine books. Uh, I bought 16 books and I read 18 days. I bought 16 books. In red nine, that's not a very good ratio. <laughs> oh my goodness. How did I buy 16 books? I need to slow down. My favorite quote, which ironically was supposed to say quotes, but I did not print enough letters. So it just says favorite quote. And I only put one, which reads, Holt was about to indulge in what he called creative documentation. Horace called it forgery. Uh, that's from Range Apprentice book nine, which I love. Range Apprentice is my favorite series. Oh my gosh, another empty page. I did not see that coming. <laughs> oh wait, yes I did. June is this pretty like tea aesthetic. Um, and then this is another one that kind of matched, which is kind of cool. This is my June theme. Also kind of empty. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't do a lot of reading in June either. I only read seven books it looks like. My graph is stunning though. Like these colors, impeccable. Um, here is some books that I started reading. It looks like I started reading The Hating Game, DNF'd it, and then it looks like I started reading The Invaders, but didn't finish it. So those didn't like count, but I still tracked the colors. I read seven books. I only read 2,836 pages. I had an average star rating of 4.2. I bought nine books and I only read 16 days. And then I have my favorite quotes. I don't think I put what these are from. Oh, these are all from <laughs> The Outcasts. So they're all from Brother Bands. And then I was supposed to write a summary here. This was my first time experimenting with writing a summary of how my reading month went, but that didn't happen. So I just added more quotes. Uh, these look like they're from Aragon. 
Finally not skipping pages, I finally got in my thick head that I wasn't going to keep up with his journal very well. This is kind of a film theme. I had this cool washi tape and these stickers, and yeah, I just kind of rolled with it. This is my bookmark. Oh, it's kind of a tight, why is it a tight fit? Uh, read quite a bit, it looks like. And then here's the other side of this one. I'll keep those forward facing, even though it doesn't really, it clashes with the aesthetic, but I think it's fine. Anyways, I also like how this one turns out, or turned out. I like the red and the brown. I don't, I don't think it looks too terrible. Um, I read 12 books, it looks like. I read 5,098 pages, had an average star rating of 4.7. I bought zero books, which was quite an accomplishment, I might add. And I read 24 days out of the 31, which is pretty impressive. Uh, we don't have to talk about the fact that I read that book, though. Let's move right along here. Whoops, skipping a page on accident. Again, with the summary that I didn't keep up with. So I just did a bunch of quotes. And literally all of these are from Brother Band again, because Brother Band has some really, really good quotes that are kind of zingers and I just love them so much. So like, for example, I have other hidden talents. Very well hidden, I'd say. Oh, another character like responds that. And they're just so funny. Um, yeah, so I just kind of used the extra space I had on the summary to fill in with more quotes because I did not write a summary and it was like months past before I returned so I didn't know how my reading month went. Next is August which I think is probably one of my favorite themes. I love the colors. It's Studio Ghibli and Food from the same artist who did the Pokemon and Food and yeah I just love it. I did a lot of reading this month it looks like. Also look the aesthetic kind of matches for August. I did a lot of reading. I could barely fit every single book in here it looks like. I don't really like how these colors look. I wish I had more light colors that I used, but I had to have each one different, and since I read so much, I didn't have that much of a choice. I read 14 books. I read 5,303 pages. Average star rating of 4.1, which is pretty high for reading 14 books and reading um, Fifty Shades of Grey. Mm, anyways, um, I bought 21 books, hello? I've read 21 days and I bought 21 books. That means I bought one book for every day that I read. That is insane. Oh my goodness. Was I depressed in August? Did I just take some retail therapy to the extreme? Oh my gosh. Favorite quotes, halfway empty. I only had a few from Emperor of Nijaha, Strange the Dreamer, and The Wicked King. And then I actually did a summary. What? Look at me go. <laughs> I really love how this page looks and I wish I would keep up with like summary pages but reading journals as like a separate unit from my bullet journal are just not things I can keep up with so I combined my reading journal and my bullet journal for 2023 and we're gonna kind of see how that works also I said the last theme might be my favorite but I think this for a theme is also my favorite and it's Pokemon again here's my bookmark for September clearly I had a bit of a slump for a week, but then I had some some decent reading. Also, these this washi tape is peeling up. We'll ignore that. I did like the little bullet points as Pokeballs. That's so cute. And here's my September graph. Once again, I wish I had more light colors where the gold didn't kind of clash. The browns look really good, but I didn't have enough shades of brown to fill everything in. I did Pokeballs for that too. Dang. I know I'm like obsessing over my own journal, but sometimes I forget what my spreads look like and to go back and be like, wow, that was a cute decision that you made to draw that like that. I read nine books, 3,718 pages, had an average star rating of 4.5, which is pretty high. I bought 17 books and I read 21 days. I am realizing my book buying addiction is excessive. Wow. <laughs> Favorite quotes. Clearly I had so many this month. So many, in fact, that I filled out nothing. But I did fill out the summary page, so that's pretty snazzy. I don't really like my handwriting here, though. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, and then I have this like fun little page. Uh, it's my Wyverns and Words page for all the books that we read in 2022 together. Um, Katie and I started the book club in July, and so perfectly halfway through the year. That is so fun. Um, this is Norman. Um, I should add, um, Silas as well. Katie got herself a dragon and by got herself a dragon I mean I bought her a dragon for Christmas and if you've seen the live shows you know what I'm talking about. If you're just watching my bullet journal videos 
we have a book club and this is our mascot essentially his name is norman and now katie has one as well and his name is silas yeah good variety of books i think that we read this was my favorite book out of the whole year um daughter of the moon goddess by sulin tan and my least favorite was easily a far wilder magic but we literally just had the live stream this morning when i'm filming this and it went so well and yeah i've really enjoyed kind of growing and learning as a book club together and the discord is just so fun to also pop in and chat occasionally and it's just been such a fun experience and i'm so happy that so many people have joined and have enjoyed joining <laughs> Next is October. This is BTS themed. Um, do I know BTS very well? No, I really don't. But did I love these stickers that I found on Etsy? Yes. So I did it for the aesthetic. Okay. <laughs> this is what my bookmark looks like. This clash is really bad. Um, so I might flip that back over because I like the purple and blue a lot. And yeah, <laughs> I read six books it looks like what the heck oh no i read more than six books i have volumes one through eight so i read 13 books okay i was like how did i read 13 books but only have six listed i like how the colors turned out for the most part on this page i read a lot of spy family so it looks like i read quite a bit but they were all mangas so they're quicker reads i read 13 books 3291 pages my average star rating was 4.5 and I bought eight books and I read 15. So we're slowing down on the book spot. I'm quite proud. Uh, me in the summer must have been on something to buy that many books. I, I truly don't know. Favorite quotes. I have some from These Violent Delights and the rest from A New Beginning, which is Ranger Apprentice. Uh, my summary clearly listed out in immense detail how well my reading month went. Um, impeccable. <laughs> And then we have November, which was themed around Stray Kids, which is another K-pop group. Here is how my bookmark looks on this one. Decent amount of reading here. Well, Ford Face. No, well, actually, I like the colors and the co bookmarks don't match. I didn't actually leave room to like write the books underneath the title like I typically do. This was the first month where I just had the title take up the whole page, but I really like how it looks, so I'm okay with it. Also, I just use printout stickers um, well, I printed out pictures on sticker paper and just cut them out. I love how the pink and purple and gray look. Um, I think this is one of the more visually appealing graphs. And then I have like little hearts that I did. I read 10 books. I read 3,821 pages. My average star rating was 4.5 and I bought five books. Wow, that's impressive. I think that's the lowest other than July when I bought zero. And then I read 22 days. So we're slowing down on our book buying. This has just been an adventure of me learning about the stats that I tracked. My favorite quotes, I just have a few from Ranger's Apprentice, and then my summary I did not fill out, even though it would look really cool writing in between all the members, but I just did not. And then I have my December, which is not filled out at all, because I fill out each of these at the end of the month when I finish, so these are literally just blank. Oh, other than quotes, I did fill in a few quotes because I was reading on my phone and I screenshotted some pages that I wanted to write the quotes down in. So I have some from the early years, which is a prequel series to Ranger's Apprentice. And then this little bonus page, which is my Chaos X Cast Patreon book club. And I just have kind of a little review of not necessarily the book, but of the book club discussion and how I read it literally the night before. The star rating filled in, which is five stars. Um, I have like this little quote bubble and it says the first ever Chaos X cast book pick, which is true. Uh, so I have November, December, and I left room for December for the stationery shop, which is our current book read. And that, my friends, is the end of my 2023. Nope, it is 2022. My 2022 reading journal flip through. I really hope that you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one.